Dear friends, Blessed Easter and Feast of the Resurrection, The Lord is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that we who have been baptized and those who are awaiting for their baptism may continue to be one in faith and hope and in good works. We make this prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Everyone came running towards Peter and John in great excitement to the portico of Solomon, as it is called, where the man was still clinging to Peter and John. When Peter saw the people, he addressed them, Why are you so surprised at this? Why are you staring at us? as though we had made this man walk by our own power or holiness. You are Israelites, and it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant, Jesus. The same Jesus you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate, after Pilate, had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One, the Just One, you who demanded the reprieve of a murderer while you killed the Prince of Life. God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact we are the witnesses. And it is the name of Jesus which through our faith in it has brought back the strength of this man whom you see here and who is well known to you. It is faith in that name that has restored this man to health, as you can all see. Now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing. This was the way God carried out what he had foretold when he said through all his prophets that his Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, so that the Lord may send the time of comfort. Then he will send you the Christ he has predestined, that is Jesus, whom heaven must keep until the universal restoration comes. The Word of the Lord. Dear friends, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the greeting that early Christians, how they greet each other, because they need to know who are Christians and who are not. Today, in the name of Jesus, let me share with you the greetings and the Easter message by the patriarchs and the heads of churches of Jerusalem. Quote, We, the patriarchs, and the heads of churches of Jerusalem, greet all our communities and faithful Christians around the world with the blessings of our risen Lord and Liberator. The Feast of the Resurrection is a time of renewal of hope, restoration, and victory over all forms of death and destruction." Unquote. Indeed, how true it is, resurrection is a time of renewal of hope, restoration, and victory over all forms of death and destruction. In the Acts of the Apostles, we hear 
the proclamation in the name of Jesus and with faith can heal a person. The cripple at the portico of Solomon was healed. If we truly believe in the resurrection, the power of God can renew us, restore us, and protect and heal us of all illnesses. For victory belongs to the Lord. Resurrection brings new life. So let us proclaim again, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of Jesus, we must believe, even in difficulty and in times like today. We must believe in the power of Jesus' name and that His resurrection brings us renewal and healing in our lives. Let me now share further the Easter message from Holy Land. Quote, This is not the first time that our world has experienced a pandemic. However, our present responsibility as people of faith and goodwill is to offer consolation for those who grieve, restoration and healing to those who are sick, and assistance to those who are in need. The Easter message this year coming from Jerusalem is a reminder of the resurrection itself. He is not here, but is risen. Our mission as Christians and as human beings is to support each other and to continue to pray for all people during this pandemic. The mighty power and grace of the resurrection offer us hope, healing and victory over this pandemic and all dark situations. Unquote. You see, the apostles were able to draw from the powerful experience of the resurrection, the coming back to life of Christ after crucifixion. This allows them to believe in the power of God to restore and to heal. So they were able to go about and continue the mission of Christ in the world, to preach and to lay hands, to renew, to heal, and bring people to salvation in Christ. We as Christians must follow after the example of Christ and the apostles. Many throughout history have done it, and we know many who have become saints in doing so. One man, St. Francis of Assisi, literally followed after the poor and crucified Christ and was enlightened by the resurrected Christ in the San Damiano cross. And finally, he was gifted with the stigmata of Christ, which is the highest honour for one who wants to experience and to go through what Christ went through. If we have walked the dark and lonely path before and have united your own sufferings with that with Christ, then you have risen too with Christ. Now, may I invite you to continue to walk with those who have not. Walk alongside with them and with a listening ear and a heart that is ready to intercede for them as you pray for them. Let us walk with those who need help to deal with their sicknesses, sufferings and pains and bring them to be united with Christ. When the power of the resurrection shines on us, it will bring us new life. And let me end off with the Easter message from Holy Land. Quote, Let us remember this Easter and remind all those around us that nothing will hinder the good news of the resurrection from resounding in Jerusalem and any other part of our world, even if this year there are no loud Alleluias. The Church 
is the body of Christ, our risen Lord, and we are the people of His pasture. Unquote. So as Vice Commissionate of the Holy Land in Singapore and Malaysia for the first year, I'd like to wish all of you a blessed feast of the resurrection. At the moment, there will not be any pilgrimages organised for this year. This year's collection for Holy Land has also been postponed and it will be held now on the 13th September this year, the eve of the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross, which recalls also the dedication of the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre in the 4th century. Let us now end off with a Hail Mary prayer to our Mother. May she continue to lead us to Christ, our risen Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is truly risen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.